What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I am newly married as of last Saturday. So uh, that's exciting. And we're doing a Vintage Cube. And I had two interviews yesterday. One for a senior combat designer and one for an item designer in games. Uh, one of them I heard back from today, and they told me they weren't interested. <laughs> so, fantastic. So, I'm good at getting the attention. I'm just not good at closing. So that's unfortunate. So now I have to I'm gonna check again today and find some more listings and put a bunch more applications in because it's kind of surreal that... Uh, Over the past three years of game design experience, I'm, I'm unable to find a position, but I guess we can take Rafelos here because that's a good pick. I didn't know what to take there, and Rafelos was just as, oh, there's an Oko? I was going to take this Jace, but Oko is literally green, and it's Oko. No Joko. And then they're like, you know what? Here's a Misty Rainforest for your trouble, and maybe the Sparrow's Headquarters comes back. So, Rafelos into Oko, into Misty is a pretty good start. And I'm also going to take this Minskin Boo, because this card is also just fantastic. And if we can get a solid green deck with a bunch of good Planeswalkers that are absolutely busted, that's, that's cool. I'd be okay with it. And then what do we got here? A Jiraga tree speaker, you say? Well, that's fascinating. We also have um, Celestia Signet. If this was red, if this was a Gruel or a Simic Signet, I would 100% dive right in. <clears throat> Look for Thrag Tusk and Olivia to celebrate your Smart. Uh, when are we doing Christian's stiff? That's a good question. His stipulation is draft cards that Christian would draft. Thousand Year Storm isn't even in the queue anymore, so I don't even know what to do about that. Court of Bounty is interesting, especially since we just picked up a Woodfall Primus, and there's nothing really that I would take here. Worldly Tutor is... It's kind of poops, isn't it? So is Candelabra. I mean... You don't have Tron lands, right? What are you Candelabraing? I mean, is it good with High Tide? I guess. I don't know. Sure, I guess it's a one-card combo with Academy, but doesn't... I don't know. That doesn't seem... It's one of these three. I guess we'll just take Finale. I really want a Bob deck. <laughs> of course you do. Rob is going to be like, draft dark... The problem with stipulations that revolve around a single card is that they're very hard to open. As you can imagine. Herpluzen Forest or Sheldock Isle. Or Ulamog. Let's take Ulamog in hopes that we get, um, you know, Channel. Nobody's drafting Bob, but that doesn't mean you're going to open it. You know what I mean? Like, you are just you could just not open it. Like, out of every 540-card cube, you're only drafting 360 cards, which is a little over half. It's about 60%, I think. What percentage of 540 is 360? 66. So, two-thirds. You're drafting two-thirds of the cube. <sighs> Wow. 
sort by mana value. This is a this is a pretty decent start for um is this only green creatures or any creature? No, it's any creature. Um Well. This is Oko and Nissa is actually or Vraska is a great combo because you can make a food, then sack the food to gain a life. You gain one life instead of two, and then you draw a card. Or three, rather, one life instead of three. This is a pretty good start for a mono green deck with two really good planeswalker splashes. Hey, the signet came back. Might play it, but I wish it was a different color. Um, yeah, if there were certain archetypes missing, for sure. But, I mean, I think it's... I think it's difficult because every archetype only takes up, like, nine cards. You know what I mean? Like, Splinter Twin is, like, what, six cards, maybe? So it's like you'd have to take out a lot of archetypes. But also, like, most of the cards that are either removed from the cube or included in the cube are cards that... Uh, just random cards that like an oblivion stone or like a parallax wave, you know, <clears throat> feels like it's gotta be stomping ground, but also scalding tarn. Also the Spara's headquarters never came back. I think it's stomping ground here, right? Let's just play Minskin Boo and it's also a forest for a fellows. Oh, Noble we'll Hierarch. That lets us... Ah, Gaia's Cradle, though. Oh, God. Oh, Ketria Trium. Oh, God. Three different mana cards that I want. Ketria Trium is all three colors we can get. I think I have to take a Ketria Trium for the Misty Rainforest and just hope Gaia's Cradle comes back because the green cards always come back. Hmm. This would have been nice if it was a Trop or a Taiga. Sneak Attack is interesting. I don't foresee us having or wanting double red. I think we just want the one red for Minskin Boo. And like, I mean, it's possible, but like, usually you want a Sneak Attack on the same turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Elvish Mystic. Which is sad, because Woodfall Primus and Ulamog are both great Sneak Attack targets. I guess they're not targets, but you know what I mean. That's what people call them, right? I'm going to take the sneak attack, actually. I just think it's too strong here. <clears throat> and I think we can easily get more elves. Elves, he said confidently, before no elves ever showed up again. Um... Tireless Tracker is decent. Kogla is also pretty decent. I want to take the Kogla. I think it's just a little bit better. Wall of Roots is exactly the kind of card we want here. I I think Sneak is unlikely to wheel. Oh, Tropical Island. Yeah. There is a Thrag Tusk, but unfortunately, the Tropical Island is a necessity with the uh, the Oko that we want to cast. Drinking a little Yuhu. Yuhu, if you're listening and you want to sponsor the stream, I'm here for you. Yuhu! Eh, Garrick is actually quite fine. I took out Garrick in my queue and I replaced it with Lucka. The Phyrexian Lucka. Lucka Flucka Flame. Uh, Suspicious Stowaway is not a card I'd usually consider, but <clears throat> we have Triome, Misty, and Tropical right now, so... Plus it's just good. Sword of Fire and Ice is also fine, but... 
I, I will never tell if you don't. It's our little Thrag Tuskian secret. I guess Primal Command is a consideration. Eh, Huntmaster is interesting. I wonder if we're going to ever get uh, cards that cost less than seven mana. <laughs> I was going to say four mana, but then I took another seven drop. Interesting. If we, I'm interesting. I'm interested about this Xenagos here, because if we actually go Xenagos and Ulamog, that's a 2020 Ulamog. Wow, there's a lot of white cards in that pack. They were all white cards, in fact. Is it gonna trample? Just haste. Okay. All right, and. Okay, we need some mana dorks. <clears throat> Rob is going to be sad because we didn't take the uh, Elvish Mystic. Uh, yes, Katie is changing her name. I'm going to take Courser of Crufix here. That's kind of like ramp sometimes, you know? Oh, Bird of Paradise? That's exactly what we want. Another Ulamog. Oh, Vorin I love this Vorin Clex. So, that's tempting. Yeah, we'll just take Vorin Clex. We don't have Channel or... Um, I don't know. I don't know what else this guy's probably good with. Volcanic Island is actually interesting. We can get it with Misty, and it fulfills both of our our colors. It's also the one <clears throat> land we can play um, that would not be a forest. Like, we can literally go, like, 15 forests, including Triome, Stomping, and Tropical, and then have Misty Rainforest and Volcanic Island. I mean, I do love a Coalition Relic. I just think this is actually a little more relevant for my early stuff and lets us... Oh, Taiga. They're just giving me the good stuff now. We only have 18 playables here. We do need some more playables, that's for sure. But our mana base is looking good, at least. And we can also play Huntmaster of the Fells, or... Is it Signet? It's like, again, it's ex kind of exactly what we want. It's ramp, and it's the two colors that we're not playing. Do we have any... We have the Celestia Signet, too, so we can just take Omnath. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> Upheaval would be decent, but we are not a ramp deck currently, even though we have a ton of expensive cards. Hmm. Ren and Realm Breaker is pretty good here, right? Wow. <laughs> Brood spelled B-R-U-D-E. Come on, Nick Joseph. You're better than that. Mm, Grim Monolith. That is a late Grim Monolith. I was also tempted to take the Time Spiral there. Or Time Warp, rather. I'm sorry, I got co- I forgive you. Um, We didn't Breeding Pool because we had like 18, 19 playables and we needed more playables. Um, I don't want to not have playables. With only one fetch land, I wasn't really too interested in um, Death Rite Shaman there. Oh, I love Worm Coil Engine. That's actually a nice late pickup. Also decent with Sneak Attack as well. <clears throat> it is Brood. B-R-O-O-D. That is correct. See, he got it. Nick's with us.
Uh, Renin 6 is interesting here. Again, only one fetch land. I think we're just going to take the Red Elemental Blast and keep it in the chamber. I, I actually, with this much red, I actually don't mind taking a Chandra here, I guess. And as far as artifacts and enchantments, we have um, Rex Sage and Kogla, so... Hmm. There's a late fiery confluence. We might just be green red, splashing blue. Because we can easily play Huntmaster, Fiery, or Chandra. I could see a Primal Command in here. Primal Command has I feel like Primal Command has been less um <clears throat> good. Maybe that's the word I want to use. Oh, wow, the Omnath came back. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Thunder Mile Hellkite. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> they add you back in the cube when you your last pick. I mean, this is a good number of lands for like three splashes. Also, Finale could be a better option than Primal Command, to be honest. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, finale for finale to be reasonable. Like I, we have, we already have Court of Bounty and Sneak Attack, which is kind of cool. But Primal Command actually works well with both of those because you put the creature in your hand and then you can put it in play. So actually, maybe Primal Command is the is the pick there. And we have like seven thousand lands, and I'm pretty sure it's all just forests after this. No. No. So this leaves us for, for Rafelos. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 out of 17 forests. And that still leaves us with blue sources. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six blue sources. Pretty decent. Seven if you count birds. I don't think it's a trap because you get it on your upkeep, right? So, like, you can actually, if they take the Monarch from you, if you play it, you get the Monarchy. Then it goes to their turn. They attack you. They get the Monarchy. They draw a card, but they're not going to be able to take advantage of the put a thing into play because you get another turn to take it back. And, you know, we, Suspicious Stowaway actually helps that a lot because it's unblockable. So, you know, we, we have options, and I don't think... Um, I, don't, I definitely don't think it's a trap, um, red sources, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this actually seems great. I'm tempted to not play Waterlogged Grove, but I think it's probably fine playing only 15 forests with her fellows. Yeah, if, if Court of Bounty was like at the end of your turn, do this. Even That would even be decent because... Because you play it, and then immediately you get the monarchy, and then at the end of your turn it triggers. So it's like, it's actually, you you have to give that sort of space for the player to actually do something against it, to like technically like respond to it. Because if it just happens at the end of your turn, it's just a really strong, like, asymmetrical show-and-tell effect. Yeah, I'm looking at like a Huntmaster. I don't think it's better than any of these four drops. Yeah, I think this looks fun. Minsk and Boo. <clears throat> right, like even if you're not the monarch, you're still getting the, the upkeep ability.
And then we got to wait. I will play first. Oh, uh, this actually seems very good. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six mana. If we hit a land, it's seven. So we'd have we can have an Avenger with three three plants if uh Oh, we're playing against Tom Brady? God damn. <clears throat> That's sick, dude. I didn't know he was a Magic fan. That's wild. Man, once you retire from football, you take up all the hobbies, you know? Beautiful. <laughs> we're going to play this because if we draw, like, Worm Coil Engine, I just want to be able to play it. Or like even Voren clicks or something. <clears throat> Anything that costs five to six mana. Oh, a little chopper. Get to the smuggler's chopper. Okay, so this is actually interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn we can actually just play Woodfall Primus. Yeah, you gotta make sure those islands aren't deflated. Solid Super Bowl reference there. Uh, have they added any initiative? Um, I believed Season Dungeoneer is in the cube, but I think that's the only one. Fascinating. Is White Plume Adventurer in the cube? I didn't actually know that. <coughs> you got it. Get to the chopper. Actually, White Plume might be the one in Season Dungeoneer isn't. I don't know. It's one of those two. It's one of the white ones. Why doesn't this guy have a reach, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also play Avenger and then play a land. I mean, I'm afraid they're going to go red and then Splinter Twin and then we just die to that, right? Like, we're seeing a Terrastin on here and a Pestermite here, and I'm like, what? what is going on? I don't understand. Now I want to kill the black, too, you know? It's like, what do we do? What's the, what's the choice here? They have to have a second red. Yeah, whatever. I'll kill their black source. It seems like the least dangerous to me. Oh, look, they had another one. Now they're going to exhume. Okay, well... Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to know really what they're going to... If they have another swamp, if they have another mountain, if they have... I mean, I think, you know, if there was no Terrastodon and no Pestermite, this would obviously be the choice. But seeing two cards that are frightening if they have access to other cards is gives me the, the desire to play around that. Also, there's like several different reanimate cards they could have. Um, you know, reanimate, necromancy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I went for the black. <clears throat> because if they are trying to reanimate, the odds of them having a reanimate spell is a lot higher than having 
one Splinter Twin, which is in the cube. They could have Kiki Jiki, but they couldn't cast it with a second red. So we're looking at the situation where like the odds are higher that they have a way to reanimate this than that they have exactly like Splinter Twin. Because, you know, odds. Fascinating. That's fascinating. This is going to be interesting, right? Maybe not. I don't know. So I'm tempted to play Minsk and Boo, and then does it get haste? Yes. So I was tempted to play this, sacrifice this guy to kill this. Actually, that's correct, right? Because then they have no creatures. Unfortunately, not a hamster, but nevertheless. Hmm, Deceiver Exarch. Well, they are paying costs, so that's fascinating. Only got some decisions to make, apparently. Magic the Gathering is suffering, and the root of that suffering is desire. I don't even know what that's from. Is that from Indiana Jones and Last Year's Aid? <laughs> I feel like I would know if it, if it was. Is that from Princess Bride? I don't know. Dang it. Oh, okay. I see. Mm. Cool. Well, I thought Shallow Grave was taken out of the cube and replaced by Gorio's Vengeance, but I guess that's not the case. What's that from? <laughs> I kind of like Fiery Confluence here, although I'm not sure the odds of us getting enough red sources for it, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't actually feel like we have a ton of options here. Red Elemental Blast didn't really counter anything except for, like, Dig Through Time. Still probably worth it, though, to be honest. How did they get the Emrakul in the graveyard? Charter course. Got it. Sick hand. <coughs> sure. Get rid of Ulamog. If we get rid of Ulamog, we're just going to top deck uh, sneak attack. So... 
nevertheless. So, yeah, their deck looks like uh, Reanimate Splinter Twin. <laughs> uh, you don't draw the Oko, and that's how you lose. This guy on turn one, this guy on turn two, this guy on turn three, if we hit a forest. Duff beer for you, duff beer for me. I'll have a duff where you have one too. Go ahead, have a duff. I dare you. Literally, I'm skipping out of work to go to the Duff Brewery. God. Well, I'm a superstar at the Cracker Factory, so. Oh, look at that. That's neat, because I got a Rex Age. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we just play a Fender or a Hornet Queen here? doesn't feel like it. It feels like we just killed our stupid artifact. So next turn, if we hit a land, we can go Avenger into land. Toxic Deluge for one. That would be quite sad. Oh god, they literally are going to do that? <laughs> oh boy. That does seem worse. Four mana, huh? Well, not much we can do with that. Good games. Everybody's had a everybody played a good good game. Jesus. You got it. Really? You're attacking? Fascinating. Very aggressive. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, in hindsight, like, I was just too concerned about stifling their mana when, like, one colorless mana prevented... Like, I, I didn't play a seven drop because I wanted to get rid of one colorless mana. It feels wrong now. So I, I I do feel like if I if I lose here it is deserved. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Minsk and Boo. Forest. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do... 
Well, we've got him to 10, you know, so it's a, it's a moral victory, if nothing else. There are five levels. And the other one is that elves you control have the ability, not just draw a tree speaker. Yeah, and I actually could have been leveling this to make this a, an elf too, but I, I don't know. They have two cards in hand, which is not super exciting. <clears throat> but they do have two combo pieces on the board, so. Interesting. <clears throat> well, let's just get a big fat idiot on the board, huh? Didn't attack with your flyer, but also didn't block with it. So now they're going to dig through time. Mm, mystical tutor. What could it be? They're going to get Ancestral Recall. Or dig through time, if that's like their best option. I'm watching on a 10-foot projector screen. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes my screen is so big that I can't read the tiny cards. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't make sense, but that's well, here we are. Makeshift mannequin getting back Avalanche Rider? That's fascinating. Oh, they're gonna chart a course, then get back Emrakul and do that. Maybe not. Uh, I'm confused. Are they ninjutsuing here? No. Okay. <coughs> they can discard with him, but that's a good point. It is on board, isn't it? It is an on board trick, as they say. Oh, that's pretty good. Possibly. Let's get a little Ren. Let's get a little Ren. It doesn't untap the lands. So we want to hit a land, right? That gives us an extra four power here. Sure, I'll mill. I'm just going to take a forest here. Interestingly enough. Uh, always yes, and always yield. The old yes and yield. A classic. Well, you're at eight. So I would personally love to swing with everything. Now they will discard something with a putrid imp. It is a grave daddy. That's good. Oh boy. No, don't like that. Hmm, boy, they always seem to have it, don't they? Do I have anything I could target that guy with? I don't think so. So they're going to block Plant, Plant, Avenger, I would assume. Hmm, so they take three. They're basically dead. Sure. <laughs> oh, Christ. They have zero cards in hand. Their little last two cards are Makeshift Mannequin and fucking Grave Titan. Hilarious. Oh, boy. Good times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So this isn't lethal. I think I'm at a point where I'm just gonna. 
Oh, and we get to keep Ren because they didn't think we had an answer for this guy. Eh, that's cool. <clears throat> Uh, no, you can't. Destroy target blue permanent. You're thinking of uh, Pyroblast, which says destroy target permanent if it's blue. It's the opposite. Similar but different. Does this guy do anything here? Possibly. We are at eight. A next turn he actually does something, doesn't he? So we just have to survive? Should be possible. Titan does not have trample now. <clears throat> we got four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Give me one turn and let me activate this dude. Come on, Papa, Papa Vori. They've drawn two cards. They have two cards where they could hit something that kills us. Or Vorn clicks, you know? <sighs> Ugh, tense. There's a lot of tension right here. Okay. This is just a fat alpha. No, just gravy boy. Okay. Well, we will jump block. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Only as a sorcery, right? Fucking instantly. Just do it instantly. Mill 10. Put two creatures from among the milled cards. <laughs> uh, Kogla, Ulmog. Uh, Kogla. We're going to fight here because it's just going to kill him immediately and the, uh, the damage isn't going to do anything. And then this guy is going to just come in. Wow, that was pretty good. Um, what's the next one? Distribute seven counters. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess we're just going to plus here. And then pass. So we have four blockers. We'll take four if they don't have any answers. Oh yeah, look at these guys. Coming in hot. Blocking everything. Going to four, and then they're going to play Fiery Confluence to kill us. <laughs> oh, we just win the game. Okay, I guess they were like, let's see if he blocks. He did. He blocked with everything. Do I have anything that hates on their graveyard? Primal Command, but like it's way too slow. All the things they're doing are almost instant speed with Makeshift Mannequin and Shallow Grave. So even if I like, act, even if I cast Primal Command, they can still respond by getting something out of their graveyard. <clears throat> yeah, this card is fantastic. All of these flip Praetors are really, really cool. I 
Like, I have no way to play Braska here. I have no way to play Omnath other than, like, Celestia Signet and Birds of Paradise. <laughs> Geddon kind of deals with it. We don't have any white sources, so let's keep that in mind. I don't really want to finagle our mana base for a white source. Um... I actually do kind of like Fiery Confluence. I think it might be worth putting in. <coughs> Maybe for Court of Bounty, since they have uh, some obnoxious things like flyers and stuff. Uh, I can keep this hand. Or Felos into Rex Age or Hornet Queen is pretty good. Yeah, after the third, yeah, after the third chapter, it, it becomes a creature again. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we can do both of these on turn three. Presuming Rafalos lives, and they don't just Kolagons command it into death. Sure. Mox Emerald. Oh, interesting. Suspicious stowaway, huh? Eh, it's got to be Rafalos here. Let's be real. <clears throat> Oh, a double-sided saga. Like, once you get to the third chapter, it's like, flip this over once you reach the third chapter. Fourth chapter. Oh, Mystical Tutor. I'm sure I'll get a Kolagon's Command. Also, I think a double-sided saga. Let's go with six chapters, not seven. Three, three per side is more than enough. <laughs> Meld sagas. Beautiful. Chart of course. Okay, so they're just gonna they're just gonna get us this turn. Oh, I guess I'd have to do it next turn. Fascinating. Hmm. Well, we can't horn a queen here, so it might just be Ren. Attack and then you ever feel like you're just gonna get Emmerhold on turn four? Hmm. All right, here we go. There you go. You almost forgot to play your land. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times. Unless they're just crossing their fingers. Oh, they just crossed their fingers there. Wow. All right, cool. We're good to go. We're Gucci. Okay, so how much mana is this? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
play Garrick for four. We go down to four. We untap two, so we go up to six. We can play this and this. <clears throat> this is six power, though. Get in there with these two. This also gives us some decent protection against Ulamog, or uh, Emrakul rather. Like we get to block and then also sack just the rest of the bees or something. <clears throat> Actually feels like we're in okay shape here, but Lord knows anything could happen. Wish call a talisman. Do I just get this? Wow, you're just gonna give it to me. X gonna give it to me. I feel like that gives us a lot of options. Is it one activate or two? Only one? Whew, holy smokes. <clears throat> X-Men will give it to me. Give it to me, X-Men. They got a lot of this. Oh, we just win the match. <laughs> What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess this is lethal on board, and they they only have two mana to do things with, so. Man. If you had to design a new card type for magic, what would it be? That's literally not a question I can just answer on the fly, especially because battles just came out. Like <laughs> design a card type right now. Like, that's like literally a design test question that I would spend like a week on. And presumably it would be it would not be after a brand new card type was already revealed. So that well has already been explored. Guys, I can't believe we beat Tom Brady. What a world, you know. Snap keep. Let's get our triome here, unless we hit a one drop. If you had to design a new form of government, what would it be? <laughs> Jesus God. Christian asked the most, the, the deepest, most broad questions. And he's just like, figure this out. Oh, how, how special. That's very good. Mountain, huh? You can have my, wait, what? Oh, it's their, it's their deck, right? It's not my deck. For some reason, I thought it was my deck, like Ragavan. All right, let's play this, gentlemen, and see what happens. Don't die. Please don't die, gentlemen. Lousy smarch weather. Oh, that's the guy. See, this is the guy I was thinking of. Wow, they... They hasted it, too. They're dashing. Glory bringer. That's a good one. I mean, we're just going to play Kogla and kill it, but, you know. Oh, and they get Avenger. That doesn't do anything. Oh, but they do have a red. Fucking Christ! <sighs> Must be nice. One of your two cards is a lightning bolt. Okay, so we play this, or we play land, do nothing. Next turn, play sneak attack. I guess we could play Garrick instead. 
This is, I mean, we're just dead to this, right? We take six next turn. No, seven. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. Unfucking real. That's so frustrating. I roll. Literally one more mana and sneak attack into Ulamog would be very, very good here. Or Kogla. Get to kill this. Oh, boy. That's a, that's a real treat. I guess we'll just make a beast here and cross our fingers. They're going to make an Oko. They tap their bird to make an Oko. Switch these two. Does Oko start at four? Yeah, he's got to start at four, right? I guess it doesn't matter. They're just going to kill us with something else, I'm sure. OK is death. Oh, cool. Congratulations. Well, bring that guy in. Sure. <clears throat> Might as well play this in case they want to do some shenanigans. They did not want to do the shenanigans. Well, turn two, turn three Oko. I mean, I guess that's as, as good as it's going to get, but like turn three Oko is pretty good. It's still Oko. <sighs> I wish I had a, a mana up to make sure he was safe, you know? Of course. Fantastic. I guess that's better than it could have been. Oh, what up, my dear? Katie just messaged me and she's like, they're sending me to Dairy Queen to get afternoon treats. <laughs> and they're like, let everyone else go home. But she's like stuck there getting the treats for everyone. Hello, my dear wife. All right. Well, that's, gr that's old Grimothy. So don't I just get to make this a 3-3? Three, three? So that you can never do it again? All right. Well. Whoa. Jimmy the Mole, thank you so much, for buddy. Really appreciate it. Oof. Oof. I will block. Sure. And if you choose to lightning bolt this guy, totally fine. Yeah, obviously. Not my wall of roots. Oh, the swish, the swish gaming. Thank you for the, for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Cool. They're doing very well for themselves. That's interesting. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> but it's interesting. God, is it even worth playing? Like, we don't have a way to pressure them. It feels bad. We do draw one extra card this turn. And they could send one guy. Yeah, you know what? Sure. I just want the extra card because I have nothing going on. Divorce? Oh my god, why would Standard Beat tell you that? It was supposed to be a secret. 
What an absolute fucking traitor. What a snitch, man. Yep, cool. <laughs> Jesus God. Oh, this is hilarious. This is two matches in a row where I'm facing avalanche riders, because that's hilarious to me. Boy, oh boy. Yep, one at face to get the monarchy, and then everybody else goes at Oko. That's surprising because it leaves Oko alive. And now you have nothing to protect it with, so I could just take the monarchy back. Guess who's back? Monarchy is back. Um, fascinating. One, two, three. This guy. Gary. Can Papa get his monarchy back? The answer is yes, he can. Okay, so now we're just in a monarchy. We're, we're engaged in monarch combat. <clears throat> Give me that, Gary. Oh, Ren and Realm Breaker, eh? The old double planeswalkers. I, I imagine you're not paying for that guy. Great, now I'm getting a divorce because I passed the rag tusk. Unbelievable. So if they attack all at Oko, I can still keep Oko alive. <laughs> okay, I mean... Sure. <laughs> Can still keep Oko alive. Hmm, fascinating. Oh, yeah, and we have Reb if we can hit a green. Oh, we also have Ren and Six. Ren and Realm Breaker to, to be a red source to kill their Oko, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we know creatures in our hand. <laughs> uh, no. I'll draw a card. Oh, a Ketria Triome. Hmm, how beautiful. <clears throat> so this is five. Use four of it to play Garrick. Untap two play Ren and Realm Breaker, and then we don't have this. So that's not ideal. We almost have to play Ren and Realm Breaker here. Or we play Garrick, untap this and something else. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we just won the game. Weird. That I was not expecting. Fascinating. This feels kind of attrition-y. Like, I feel like we're just attritioning each other. So I'm going to bring in Huntmaster. Take out, like, Woodfall Primus here. Fiery Confluence also does seem good here. We have all our red manas. Red manas. Maybe take out Court of Bounty, actually. In that case, I actually... Well, we still have sneak attack, so I still want to be sneak attacking Ulamog, but I don't want it to just be gumming up my hand. Maybe we'll bring in Primal Command. We'll take out Ulamog. We'll take out sneak attack for Chandra. And then we'll just bring in, like, one more mountain just for 
safety's sake. That seems okay. <clears throat> Changing from a ramp deck to like a mid-range deck. Uh, we want to get Ketri to try him with this. I guess we could get Tropical Island and then play Bird. But... This into this seems pretty good. Ragavan. Bird of Paradise, that's better. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, we're just going to play bird here. Okay, that guy's good. That guy's good. Uh, although if you pay attention to my YouTube comments, that guy's not very good. Someone literally was like, I can't watch anymore after I put a Euro into play. I put a Euro in my in my Vintage Cube deck. I was like, are you serious? This card's like a four of in Legacy. It's banned in Modern. It's banned in Standard. Like it's, it's banned in every format it's been in. But Vintage Cube, off limits, buddy. Off limits. Uh, one, two, three. I'm actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually not choose any lands because it, we know they have Fiery Confluence and I don't want them to go like Fiery Confluence for three, kill my bird, kill my land as well. Because it just has Hexproof, not Indestructible. So there's no point in like, and it's also tapped, so there's really no point in making it a creature. I mean, I guess I could save it against Avalanche Riders, but I care about that a little less, I think. Although Glory Burner here is pretty good. And there it is. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Lord. I mean, again, though, they can't. I guess they wouldn't have killed the land anyway because it has hexproof, but. And now it's exerted. So that's something. Hmm. Well, well, well. So now we're probably going to get the Triome. Is it Fiery Confluence? Wow, that's fucking hilarious. The literal thing I was afraid of happening. <laughs> I mean, they're trading Fiery Confluence on a bird for a land? I don't know, man. That doesn't seem wonderful. I'm going to thin the deck and sack this. Courser of Crufix, eh? That's unfortunate. <laughs> I do not have the correct signet to really benefit from that. Wow, that's that's really really a bummer. <sighs> So 
So I guess we're just gonna play land here. No, we can't actually use Signet here. Green, green. This doesn't do anything this turn, and they're probably just gonna kill it, but we save ourselves four damage. Is drawing like, eh, we're gonna do it, sure. Drawing a card is definitely worth four, everybody knows that. Oh, and we get to draw Worm Coil next turn. Oh boy, what if you want Vorinclex and Chandra? What if you did this pre-combat so you could play Chandra and kill their, their Glory Bringer? Hmm. I think it is Chandra here. And a Worm Coil on the tippity top, that's pretty, pretty juice. Yeah, I guess I, I guess we should have done that first. It gives us more options. Yep, cool. Yep. Oh, wow, an Oko on the top, huh? Wow, if only I could go four with Fiery Confluence. Wouldn't that be cool? Actually, this doesn't do anything right now. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go... Chandra? Yeah, we're rexaging the Corsa, that's, that's the correct play. Oh no, we're not, they're remanding this, because of course they have remand as their last fucking card. <laughs> oh god. Never gets old, man. Boy, oh boy. So we know they have Oko. I guess they're going to play it, so it doesn't really matter. They're going to make the Mox Emerald a 3-3 and attack for 5. Or they're not. It's an interesting choice, but... Oh, they're not going to attack at all? I don't... What? Okay. Um, I mean, I guess now we just kill the... Oh, Villa TX, thanks for saying so, buddy. I guess we're killing this now? Sure. So they have no cars in the drawing season pyromancer. That seems fine. Yep. Which one? Ah, oh, yes, they didn't get to discard anything because of that's how Pyromancer works. Got it. Hmm. Sure. Is there any way to get Oko off the board? Not really, right? I guess we can do this for two, kill their two blockers. Attack. Oh, destroy an artifact too. Wait, it's not an artifact anymore? Oh my God, that seems terrible. I 
think I just want to use Rexage to kill this guy. That feels correct. Are you winning? I don't even know. Magic's a hard game to parse. Do we know what the last card in their hand was? Uh, Renin 6. And what else did they draw? They had a course around, so we should know. Well, this isn't the Renin 6, so this is the other card. Oh, they're, they're, they're getting Euro back? Sure, that's great. Probably should have killed their second blue source, actually, now that, now that I'm seeing this Euro. Also, Worm Coil Engine is pretty bad with an Oko on the board. Yeah, that's probably going to be the game. Oh, good. Fantastic draws all around. <sighs> Boy. That is interesting. I'm one mana shy of being able to Hornet Queen, though. <laughs> oh, incredible. Oh. Jolly good, sir. Jolly good. Well, that is what we wanted to happen, so... That's about as good as we can ask for, even though they now have a Euro with four cards in their graveyard. So, you know. And land. Renan six. They have no lands in the graveyard, so that's good. That's a thing. Yeah, I feel like that block was a little greedy. <sighs> God, play Worm Coil. They just get to they get to just make it a generic three three that makes me no worms. That's pretty brutal. So I guess we're just going Wall of Roots Grim Monolith here. Might as well keep a blue up. <laughs> Pretty sure we're dead this game, but... What can you do? Wonderful. Why am I even playing? I don't understand. Like, the point of playing Magic is to have counter plays to your opponent, and then you guys each have interaction back and forth, but I'm literally just playing things so that you can have targets for all the cards in your deck. It doesn't really... doesn't really feel as good. Cool. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Yeah, the next match, I guess. That was hilarious. Cool. <sighs> God. Exhausting. Absolutely exhausting. I already have a headache. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes.
Well, let's see if we can 2-1 this bad boy. Well, 5-drop, 7-drop, 11-drop. I'm going to keep it. And we're going to hope that we can hit something that makes his hand worth wild. Worth while, not worth wild. Mm, that's good. That's a good start. Turn four of Warren Clex. We could we could keep that up. However, if we hit a Rafelos off the top, now we're talking. We got here. What are you doing? Bitter Blossom. Very aggressive. That's not a Rafelos. I just want that to be that to be clear. Hmm. This feels like a Thunder My Hellkite matchup now. Oh, cool. Oh, great. All things considered, that's definitely not the worst you could have done. Wow, this is a really fit, fucking interesting choice for the uh, the construct token. Isn't this the stone idol? Art. I guess it is a construct, but it's a construct with trample. It's a completely different card. And it, it is made by the ancient stone idol. What else makes this? Is that it? I could have sworn there was another card that made that. Oh, that's actually really good. The one thing I was hoping was that I could get a card that fits between Ulamog and Hornet Queen. <sighs> I've literally drawn three of the most expensive cards in our deck. only Voren clicks put the lands into play, you know? Instead, they go into the hand. <laughs> phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Uh, oh, gee, I wonder what I'm going to give you. Okay, fun game. Both sides played hard. Well, we're definitely bringing in Fiery and Thunder Maw. Eh, I'll take out Ulmog and uh, Sneak Attack. And... Maybe bring in Reb for Primus. And we'll do that trick where we added one more, one more of these guys. Who knows? I will play first. I will keep this hand. I mean, admittedly, the first hand was slow, but really, like, if they're going to mind twist us on, like, turn four, what are we going to do about it anyway? Rex Age. Hmm. Volcanic Island, eh? Fascinating. Uh, I would love to think I'm winning big in life, but without a job and with my unemployment money running out, it's not looking great. So I would not say I'm winning big in life, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would, I would definitely say that I am incredibly stressed and... 
Uh, not sure where my income is going to come from in the next few months. So. Unless you're referring to someone else, of course, my friend. <laughs> cool. Yep, that's me. Fe the feels bad man is me. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Did you need a land? Let me give you a land. Let's see if they mind twist us for three here. But you only have two cards. I only need to mind twist you for two. Mm. Sure. Uh, you can have mind twist. One, two, three, four, one, two. I guess I can do both now, can't I? Isn't that fascinating? So we can go one, two, three for Oxy. Uh, make, bigify this gentleman. Cast, uh, deal one to each creature, two to each opponent. So you're at seven and I can put you to four. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just put you to four. Now you're at three. Let's see if your Bitter Blossom just kills you. And you have a mind twist in hand. Um, ooh, Knight's Whisper. Yeah, I'll give you the Knight's Whisper. <laughs> oh, fantastic. No blue mana for you and two spells that do nothing. Oh, fascinating. Big ape man, big ape man. All right, well, having another game, I guess. Mulligan. Oh, it's even better. Okay, I guess this is what we got. Six drop goes. And fiery confluence, I guess. Man, nothing like mulling to five against the mind twist deck, huh? Bird of Paradise. Another land. Okay. Wow, three games in a row, huh? That's pretty good. We're going to play this so that we have our guaranteed red and or blue. This is intriguing. I 
think they got Vindicate. Like 100% have Vindicate, right? But then we get to make old Minsky and Booski. Okay. This is not super aggressive here. Okay. Things are happening. One, two, three, four. Minsky and Booski. I would love to make a a hammy boy. You take seven? That'd be wild if you did that. Oof. They really need those creatures. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fascinating. But then you got how many blockers? I guess you have a blocker, but then I still have an Oko. Hmm. This is all very fascinating. You got it. Boo hath died. Boo, I say. Any land here lets us go Rafelos and Ren and Realm Breaker into... Actually, it has to be a green source, but... No, it doesn't, because we can play Ren and Realm Breaker first. And then our lands tap for Rafelos. This is game three. That guy's pretty good. That guy's also pretty good. I wanted to land, though. So, you know. Huh. Well, I definitely want to take that guy. I want to take that guy. Unless they double block the boo, which would be very surprising. I did not expect that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, what up, Neon Tokyo Rain? Interesting. They were like, no, I need to keep this Leovold. <laughs> it's very important. Um, we are exchanging this turn. Which means Oko does, in fact, die. Oh, what up, River Run? But this feels important, so. Get to draw a card. That's pretty good. They're probably just going to take Thunder Maul, but that's fine. I guess we could take Hornet Queen, too. Eh, it doesn't look great. All, all these cards are pretty strong. Oh, wow. 
That's aggressive. They got They got to do one at, at Oko. That's that's just the that's the, that's the pure fact of the matter. I'm not gonna play something else. Trinket Mage, go to four. Are they gonna get Zurin Orb? Skull Clamp, I bet they get. Mox Sapphire, <laughs> okay. Um, so one, two for this, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> one mana shy of hell kiting this turn. We could Ren and Realm Breaker. So we don't have seven this turn. Oh, we do, we do, we do for green cards. So that's probably what we'll do. And I just block with this guy and the trinket. Yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, they have to win like three turns due to Bitter Blossom, and we have 20 life. So that seems good. Well, damn mind twist, and you can have these three. These are the cards that do stuff against me. Um, and then you know they're land to cast damn with kicker. And I don't care about lingering souls or vindicate, so. They could take these two my twists, but this guy being over here is probably the best <laughs> insurance policy you could get. Because they just can't make me discard it. You can't make me dis You can't make me discard this. So we just get to keep it forever. Interesting, they took the three pile. Oof, we were looking for a land there, but. This costs two more, right? Five, six, seven, yes. And so we just have the, God, any land would have been great here. So next turn, they're probably just dead, would be my prediction. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six flyers, so they can easily block all five of these guys plus one more. And then they have, oh, they have seven flyers, and they have three, like, there's no point in alphaing here. Especially when our Thunderball Hellkite cleans up the board very, very well. So now they're vindicating three other cards. Uh, they can't damn anything because it's in the graveyard. Oh, and they also try to draw a silent clearing, but <laughs> Leovold. 2-1 <laughs> in some frustrating matches. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow me on Twitch. 
follow me on YouTube, whatever you guys want to do. Follow me wherever you can follow people. Wherever you guys follow people in a stalker-esque manner, follow me there. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.